Howdy, April Percal. We have another video on the, um, uh, we're continuing on with this. Okay, so it's that 113, 114. And um, this one, they're telling us that we've got the cost and the number of soap, the, the cost of a soap bar and the number that we sell is inversely proportional. Okay, so inversely proportional means that Y would equal K over X. That as X gets bigger, Y gets smaller. And the other way around, as Y gets smaller, X is getting bigger. Or as X gets smaller, Y gets bigger. Okay, so then they tell us um, the company sold 100 bars of soap. Well, let's see what their, what their variables are. Um, find the constant of proportionality. The constant of proportionality is K. And write the function to model the number of bars B sold in terms of X, the price of the soap. So B, let's say B is equal to K over X. So they're telling us now that the company sold 100 bars <clears throat> um, at a price of 8, so we're looking for K. So this K value will be equal to 100. So the, find the constant of proportionality, that's this, and write a function. So the function would be, we could say B of X if we really want to, is equal to 800 over X. Okay, so how many bars of the soap would the company expect to sell in a month if the price is $6 per bar? Price is X. So I want, so basically I'm looking for B of six is equal to 800 over six. I don't know. Um, it's not a perfect number or it's not a, a whole number. Okay, so how many did we sell? I would argue we sold 133 bars because uh, you can't sell a fraction of a bar, I would imagine. I don't know, I don't sell soap. Um, then it says the company changed the price and they only sold 125 bars. So this time we don't know, we don't know the price, but we know the, basically we don't know the X value, we know the Y value. Um, okay, so here we go. If I multiply and then divide, um, I have X is equal to 800 over 125. 800 over 125. Oh, they reduced it for me. That's lovely. Um, 6.2. I lied, 6.4. So what does that mean? That means they're charging $6.40. So if it's money, write it in terms of money. Okay, the next one, they're giving us oysters are harvested in October, um, from October to March, and then the population is given by this equation right here. So how many oysters would be in the creek um, one month after the harvest stops? So the population is P, so basically we just wanna know P of one. Well, that's 200 times 1 plus 300 over, um, well, multiply that by it's 1 point, there are two zeros and then a 2, I think. Okay, so 500 divided by, was it 500? Yes, divided by 1.002. Um, about, I would say that there are, for writing it, they want, they want three, three uh, decimal places or they want rounded, um, truncated or rounded, three decimal places. So one of my colleagues suggests round to write down four decimal places. Um, I would say if we're talking oysters, it doesn't make sense to have a fraction of an oyster. So I would say we have a 499 oysters. I'm too lazy to write the word. Um, the rate of change. Okay, so now we want to know P of two and we want to know P of four. Well, P of two is going to be 400 plus, uh, it's going to be 700 over um, two times this is 0 0.004. So it's 1.004, and then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then when I plug in four, I get um, 800 plus 300 is 1,100 divided by points, and we'll multiply this by four, I get 0 0.008 at one, and I'm here. Okay. Um, oh, let me show you something while I'm thinking about it. Um, delete, no, I just wanna delete it all, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. 700 divided by point 1.004. I'm gonna store this as alpha A. So now if I type in alpha A, it will remember that value for me. I'm gonna take the other one. Um, oh, that's wrong. Yep, goodness gracious. I'm gonna store that as alpha B. Okay, and so to find the rate of change, <clears throat> it's going to be this, basically it's P of four minus P of two over four minus two. Well, I just stored this guy as B. <coughs> I just stored that guy as A over two. So I can come here to my calculator and say alpha B minus alpha A over two, and I'm not rounding to the very end. Okay, so this tells us 
um, my rate of change is about 197. 197 what? Well, it's the rate of change in the number of oysters, so it's that 197 oysters per month. And there we go. All right, go practice. Good luck.